Hi everyone, I'm glad to have you here. Um, I know a lot of you have been commenting lately and it's really, it's nice seeing your comments and engaging with you guys and, you know, hearing your stories and, and you know, channeling you guys and, and hearing that these readings resonate with you. So I'm really, I love, really happy to see your comments. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update energy-wise. This is for soulmates, twin flames, um, exes, it could be somebody new. It's it's whatever resonates with you really, whatever your situation is. I do want to say though that I've, I've noticed that a lot of the um, masculines are leaving their karmic partners at this time. And you guys are also leaving your karmic partners at this time. I found that really interesting. Usually when I do, because I just finished my Zodiac readings on Monday, and usually when I do my Zodiac readings, there's, you know, a, a, there's always a different story for each Zodiac, but this time I was amazed that there were like at least eight or nine Zodiac signs um, out of the 12 that had such similar energy where they were moving on from somebody that was emotionally unavailable or leading them on or just a toxic or abusive karmic partner that was controlling them, or um, I think for one of the Zodiacs I got specifically that there was an issue with money, a, a karmic partner was either using them for money or um, trying to use money to control them, basically. So I found it really interesting that that came up for so many of you guys right now, is that collectively so many of us are, um, I mean, I'm not personally in that situation, but but um, collectively, it does seem like so many people are ending old, toxic, stagnant relationships, um, controlling abusive relationships, you know, you're ending your karmic relationships that have just been going around in circles, and um, your masculines are also getting out of karmic relationships. It's kind of almost like a like a collective tower moment. It's It's like the... It's like we're in the middle of the storm right now, basically, where there's a lot of truth being revealed. I've noticed that on a wide scale, actually, lately, um, politically, too. I think that there's there's been truths that I keep being revealed and that there's going to be some more coming up. Um, and also for you guys, I think that that's happening a lot where it's your masculines are finding out things that they they didn't want to know. Like they, they've tried to be in denial and they, they can't really be in denial anymore. It's kind of in their face and they're finding out things um, about whatever stagnant situation they're in, whether it's a karmic partnership or um, just, just old energy that just keeps recycling over and over again. It, it's like these truths are being revealed, you know, like if somebody cheated, that's probably about to come to the surface. If somebody you know, is telling lies or they were doing something behind your back or their back. That's that's coming to the surface now. So that's that's the current energy that I feel we're in is just um, clearing out the old karmic relationships, um, making way for the new um, truths being revealed, you know, very deep truths. And, and for them, for, for the karmics, you know, in this I got the energy for both of you. So I got the energy for them leaving karmic relationships and also for some of you guys getting out of emotionally unavailable karmic relationships so you can find or, you know, some of you already know who this person is. So you can either find or be with this, um, you know, your true person, your true match instead of wasting time with somebody who's not emotionally available. So, so yeah, I saw that energy a lot on both ends. And, and the truth being revealed, it's, it's a good thing. It really is. Um, with the karmics, like I said, it's probably, it's a lot of cheating or lies or just, you know, finally recognizing and accepting that those relationships are not going anywhere and that you're, you know, you or they are just kind of going around in, in circles. Um, but I also feel like a lot of heart to heart talks between you and your masculines that they might be coming in with messages, um, and being a little bit more open and honest, really. So it, it's like this, but I don't want to, I don't know if I should say it's the dark night of the soul. I don't know if it's that intense, but for some of the masculines, yeah, I, I do think they're kind of going through the dark night of the soul type energy right now where they're, they have to face their, their monsters. They have to face their inner truth. They have to face what they really feel. They have to face what situations are dead and over and what situations, you know, need to be restarted. Um, and they have to kind of just own it and they have to really be strong and brave like they haven't been before. And yeah, collectively they're being pushed to do that right now. 
So I, th I think the ener energy is really interesting right now. So I'm just going to get, just had that quick channeled message for you guys, and I'm going to pull some cards just really quick to see what's going on. Okay. So I put the intention in of channeling the viewers that are watching this. As I mean, I already am, but <laughs> with the cards, I want to put that energy in there even more. All right. What do we need to know about... Yeah, let me ask, actually, I'm going to ask this. What's going on with the karmic relationship? So for those of you... For those of you in that situation... You know, I think I'm being pushed to do um, um, third-party relationship reads because I've been planning on doing that. I think what I'm going to do with you guys is I'm going to do one... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to do it as I feel called. So there might be a week where I do you know, three or four readings in a week, and then there might be a week where I just do one reading that week. It just kind of depends on on when my guides, you know, tell me to, to come to a video because there's there's something that needs to be addressed as, as soon as possible. Um, so I think I'm going to make this the, the third party read, and then I'm going to also have reads that are just, you know, general soulmate twin flame love reads. Um, and then we're also going to do the, the third party reads for those of you that are that are in that situation. Kind of in that situation to myself, actually. I like a, I really like a guy that's in a karmic relationship, so it's kind of a pain, I feel it. Anyway, I'm sorry to, sorry to blab. All right, that just came out of nowhere for me, so I had to step back for a minute. I'm like, all right, what are we, what are we doing, Spirit? We're doing a third party read right now? Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, What's going on with the karmic? So for your, so let's see. So I don't want to see, you guys already probably know what your situation is with if you're getting out of an emotionally unavailable situation and you're going to someone better or you're looking for someone better, then you probably already know um, for the most part what your, what your situation is. And I did just finish the Zodiac reading. So I'm going to ask, um, so for your masculines, and this could be somebody that you, you know, could be someone you just met, could be someone that's just in your energy field. I think for a few of you, maybe you've been having dreams or you've just been feeling really good lately and you feel like your person is around, but you haven't actually met them yet, but you're just, you're just, ha you have this awareness that they're close. So, um, so for those of you that are in that, that third party energy, please just, just tell me what's going on with the masculines and their their third party situation like what's happening with that what's happening with that all right i'm gonna put these upright too because i i need to put all my cards upright i'm not intending to read them upside down it's just i need to reorganize my cards devil energy okay that's interesting Five of Pentacles. So yeah, it's not really going well with the karmic. Nope. <laughs> These are all cards that are like, no, they're in your masculine is trying to have like, or maybe this is probably past energy. Actually, this could be current or, or past energy. I definitely do not feel like this is the future. The, the page of Pentacles and the page of Wands. It's like they were really trying to build something and it's just not working. And it's just not working. Your person, um, your person's karmic could also be blonde. It's possible. Um, cause I do see a lot of blonde characters here. Um, and with the 10 of wands, it's like they're overburdened. Like they're tired of it. They're not trying to do it anymore. The Hierophant. Okay. It's interesting energy. This makes sense though. Actually, it's not surprising. What I feel from this reading and let me know, please, you know, I, I love engaging with you guys and I, 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 uh, would love to hear your stories and just hear, um, you know, what resonates with you. So please let me know. Um, please just, yeah, just leave comments below and, and let me know what you guys think. Um, cause what I was going to say for this group that I'm channeling, what the energy I get, I get like this sad kind of depressed energy and the energy I'm really getting here is that your masculine knows that it's over with the karmic, but I feel like they put a lot of energy and effort into the karmic. And so it's kind of hard for them to let go of it, but they know it's over. Like they're, I wouldn't say they're in denial, like they're getting out of denial. Like I think they've been in denial. I think you've probably been like, you know, Hey stupid, you need to like recognize already that this person is toxic or they're just not for you. And they're getting it They're They're finally starting to get it. 
if you've been sending them telepathic messages trying to get them to come closer to you i feel that they're feeling that and they are coming closer to you they are they're just kind of processing they're just kind of like in this this sad nostalgic kind of healing energy right now where they're they're realizing it's over with the karmic it's just still painful and you know i've i've just from you know hearing you know situations i've been in and also just talking to other people that are in these situations and just channeling the collective i know so many times the um the masculines kind of just settle for the karmic they settle for something that's a lot of them are kind of like emotionally unavailable to some degree i think or at least at first um especially when you have a really deep intense connection with them i feel like so many of them kind of end up going back to the karmic or they end up staying with the karmic for a while just because it's familiar and it's like it's toxic and it's not completely happy but it's like what they have with you is so deep and so intense that it's like they just go back to their safety zone and it's it's so hard for them to break out of that energy sometimes um but i feel like they're getting out of that denial phase now finally what i'm really feeling here is that there was there was this drastic shift there could have been with work they might have gotten like a job offer or like like an get gotten on unemployment insurance or maybe they um got like a raise or just something with a page of pentacles it's like there was some kind of career or college or some type of dream that that um they accomplished here with the ace of swords it's like they thought they had this new beginning and it's like things were going well everything was great and they had this page of wands which is like you know messages coming in like like new me like messages coming in regarding work career um finances um you know passion just all this this good energy coming in and i feel like this person was kind of this karmic was kind of connected to that energy <coughs> oh sorry too much sage in here <laughs> um this karmic was like connected to this energy and so it's kind of like he was settling for it but he had so much so many things going on that he was getting excited about that he just he was kind of just living in denial he's like you know what this is good i think this is yeah this will this could be my life this is everything's going well like he was kind of just pushing into the back of his head um and then everything just came crashing down on him and he just realized that the karmic is not what he thought she was with this three of swords it's like heartbreak it's like she messaged him and broke up with him or she you know lost her shit one night and showed a whole other side of herself or um or she said some nasty things to him or she cheated on him it's just like this energy where it's like every he thinks everything's going well and he's living in denial but in the back of his head he knows that you're the one and this person isn't um but he was still being complacent and he still was trying to get this to go somewhere but it's like everything just came crashing down and he was heartbroken and messed up and with the devil energy this is like probably how he's i think this means two different things in this reading i think for one thing it's kind of talking about how he's dealing with this energy like he's just like it's just this toxic energy where he's just like maybe drinking um partying having a lot of sex drugs um being defensive just kind of just this heartbroken toxic energy that he's just not sure he's just it sounds it kind of does sound like dark night of the soul energy it's like something he had to learn something he had to go, go through he had to realize that you know life isn't it, it's it's <laughs> he thought the grass was greener on the other side of the fence and he's learning it's not <laughs> it's what's going on basically i also feel like this devil is the karmic i feel like for some of you this is kind of similar to how she looks um and i feel like I don't know it's like she's seductive and she's kind of bitchy and it's like she kind of tr tries to pull him back in she kind of tries to dominate him and with the five of pentacles it's just like loss poverty sadness he could have lost a job or something too with this with this card because this is about this talks about like poverty and stuff so it's like or he could also be spending all his money on on drugs and alcohol and that kind of stuff and just being kind of reckless right now um that's what that talks about and with the ten of wands here i feel like this whole energy was just a burden like he's realizing that he can't keep doing this anymore he re he's realizing he's just kind of done with life right now like he doesn't have the energy to keep doing it with this person anymore it's just too back back and forth too toxic too confusing for him um and it's just it's this burden that he's trying to finally let go of is, is how i take that 
I almost feel like with the Hierophant, I kind of feel like, I think for one thing, it's his guides trying to lead him out of this energy, but I do think that his guides understand that he has to go through this to get to where he wants and needs to be. Like, it has to be a learning process for him, I think. Um, with this also, I feel like maybe he has things that he's rebelling against, like maybe childhood or family issues or like issues from past relationships that he's kind of rebelling against. Because the Hierophant, it's like, it's like society standards and like institutions and like control and like authority figures. So I think kind of like with this devil energy, it's almost like he's like running from like a, a stagnant nine to five job or he's um, like rebelling against things his parents taught him, like how they taught him to be. Like he's just kind of rebelling against all that energy. Like he's just saying, screw it. Like I don't like he doesn't want to adult anymore is kind of what it comes down to. That's that's the best way to describe that. He's he's rebelling against old patterns and control and that type of thing. So so yeah, that's what's going on with the karmic situation. Um let me see if I can get a couple more cards here really quick. And for some of you, this could be your energy where it's like your in that karmic situation and you're getting out of that energy to find your person and you're accepting it's over um but for the majority of you i channeled i think that's probably your masculine that's in that karmic situation and it's like i don't know it's just like typical codependent abusive energy that they're in where they're like you know i put all this effort into this relationship like i thought this could go well like they kind of knew deep down they were in denial and this wasn't their person but you know they just it might have been someone they knew a while or there was just like that familiar type energy there and it was just easier, you know what I mean? It was easier than opening their heart up completely. It was easy to just, you know, have a, a I don't know. I think, I, like, I think they told themselves that was the one, but I think they knew it wasn't the one, you know what I mean? It's like, they just, it was just familiar. It was like, they just were trying to convince themselves and trying to push you to the back of their head. So, all right. <laughs> But it's good because, I mean, there something happened, I feel, like they're having arguments or there's, like, cheating or there's, like, truths being revealed or um, just some with that three of swords there. It was, like, some kind of harsh, over practically overnight heartbreak. It's, like, I, I associated, when I saw that, I kind of associated it with, with the tower moment, like, with the tower and the tarot deck. Like, I didn't see it as, like, a slow heartbreak, although it could have been that, too. But I saw it as more like a drastic overnight change. Like she, she texted him and she dumped him or she, like he caught her cheating or like she, you know, got drunk one night and went absolutely nuts on him. Like, like, and he saw her as the devil energy. Like he saw her in a whole different light and he couldn't go back to seeing her as this sweet, cute little innocent thing after that, after she showed her true colors. It's something like that that just really shocked his world. And that's the energy that he's in right now. So that probably already happened or it's about to happen. Um, and... Yeah, it's it's good because he's like he was in denial and something just happened that made it so that he can't be in denial anymore. It was just too in his face for him to just, you know, keep pretending like it's all okay. And, and he's kind of just in this self-destructive pity party energy right now, like like dark round of the soul, like I said. But but again, I think that I think that's necessary for him for a little bit. I think that um, you know he's just going through this healing process. It just, it's, it's all playing out. It really is. Um, what's his next move? What's the masculine's next move towards the viewers watching this? What is masculine's next move towards the people, towards the viewers that are watching this? Like, so, okay, so we know he's out of denial. He's facing, he's, you know, some cold, harsh truth was just shoved in his face and he has to face the reality of it, that that relationship is not what he thought and that it's not his, his life partner um, the way he tried to tell himself it would be. Um, and so, yeah, there's some self-destructive energy right now where he's just kind of coping with this and not sure what to do next, but let's see, what is he doing after that? Like, as he gets through this energy, what is he going to be doing towards you? All right. Okay, I think someone needs to hear, don't text him right now. I don't know who that's for. If you were just thinking, this would probably, if it, maybe some of you probably should text him. I'm not saying all of you shouldn't, but I feel like there's somebody that's been watching this video thinking maybe I'm going to text him, and I just heard, like, don't text him right now. 
Don't text him if that's for if that's maybe that's your message. I don't know. Don't text him yet. <laughs> don't text him yet. <laughs> Cause he's purging and he's self-destructive, and you don't want to be a rebound right now either. You know what I mean? Like well, let's see there. So there's denial, there's well, that's confusing. There's lust, there's risk, and there's a message. Okay. This is actually pretty good energy. Um, so what he's doing after this is we've got confidence in the warrior. So, you know, rebuilding himself after he gets through this kind of dark night of the soul energy. I think he's going to be rebuilding himself and remembering the warrior that he used to be. Maybe the warrior that he was with you. Maybe like the strength and the goodness and the integrity and the, the passion that you brought out in him. And he's going to, you guys might have horse spirit animals around you too, around him or around you. Um, and he's going to try to be more confident. He's he's going to do his best not to let this this karmic like just mess with his head and make him insecure. Like he's really trying to rebuild his confidence from this. And um, you know, with the high priestess of spirit, I think that's kind of how he sees you as like this intuitive type goddess. And with cycles, um, I think that's like to referring to the karmic cycle. It's like that's. That's over, and I think with the High Priestess of Spirit here, it's kind of like you, you, your intuition and your like psychic connection, like connection through dreams, connection like just through telepathy. I think that kind of helped him close out this cycle with her. So you've been supporting him in the astral realm, even if you haven't been fully conscious of it. Um, and you know, there's this little part of him that's still in denial, and that it's going to hurt for a little bit. And part of him is kind of just reach. You see this card? Can you see that? Sorry, I need to get a better webcam soon. But see how he's kind of like reaching for these grapes up here. Like he's still kind of reaching for it. And he might still be self-destructive for a little bit. It might kind of be this hot and cold, weird, unstable energy. So I think that's why it's kind of telling you just to stand firm and stand your ground. Because you don't want to just be like a one night stand or like a rebound. Or like you guys get back together and then he just says screw it and goes back to the ex. Like you want to be a supportive friend if you can be if he reaches out for that. But like. You still want to be really, you don't want to overwhelm him right now. He's already so overwhelmed, so you got to be really careful not to overwhelm him, not to put any pressure on him. Like, this is not the time. If this is your story, then it's probably not the time to have these deep talks about, you know, like, what are we? Where are we going? Like, it's not the time for that because he's still healing and letting go of the karmic and accepting that that's over. Um, so it needs to be like more of a slow transition to, you know what I mean? Like it's good to support him like in a friendly way and be there if he needs to talk, but make sure that you're not being used. You know what I mean? Like be careful with that, like really set your boundaries too and, and find a good balance and make sure that you don't overload him either. Um, so I think with this, this, with this denial card, I think it's like hot and cold energy where it's like, he's, you know trying to let go of it but it's like part of him it's still hard he's still working through that denial but he's again he's getting out of that like he knows that truth was so in his face that he can't be in denial anymore you know what i mean even if he wants to be he can't really go back to that and with lust he might be kind of having one night stands for a little bit he might be um maybe going back to her but it's like not going to be the same as it used to be like when they have sex it's not going to be like romantic and loving it's just going to be like just sex and nothing else um for those that go back and then i think for i think there's two groups here so i think for one of your for one group your masculines will probably go back to the karmic and give it one last chance but it's going to be really short-lived probably just a couple weeks um and then for another group i think that if you make it too easy for him he might come to you but it's just going to be more like a lusty energy because he's not emotionally available yet because he's still hurt over the karmic and he's still processing that um so he's not going to fully open his heart to you yet um, is what I think it's saying. It's just like this hot and cold kind of energy is, is what I'm feeling from this. Um, but as, like after this, I mean, once he's really, again, that's, that's why I'm warning you guys to be careful because I don't want you guys to just get used or whatever, you know? Like, I want to make sure that you're, you just are aware of the mindset that he's in, that he's, He's not fully emotionally available right now because he's just kind of introverted and introspective right now and just facing the truth and, and letting this karmic go and accepting that it's over with her. And, you know, possibly some of them might give it one last little attempt to see if anything can go, but it's like, 
It's like something like they know it can't though. You know what I mean? It's something where it's like maybe she cheated and some of them are going to be like just so desperate to knock it out of their comfort zone that they're just going to try again anyway, but they're going to try and it's not going to be the same and they're not going to trust them and there's going to be arguments and it's going to be toxic and they're just going to end up leaving anyway. Um, like they're, they're not going to want, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's never going back to how it used to be with the karmic and he's accepting that now. Um, is basically what's going on. So, so again, guys, remember, do not, most of you, maybe a couple of you should text him. I mean, you don't know if it's, it'll resonate with you if you should or not. But, but for most of you, I feel like this is not a good time to, to text him or to have deep talks about what you guys are or to put pressure on him or any way. Cause again, he's just, he's healing. He's, he's got to go through that energy and you don't want to be a rebound. You don't want, to, you don't want to be old reliable, you know, like you, you want to be appreciated. So you want this to be, I'm not saying that you should be cold with him because, you know, he is in a very vulnerable space. He really is. So if he reaches out to you, yes, you should message him back, I feel. But you should keep it very light, very like sweet and loving, but not heavy at all. Just like a, you know, how's your day? I hope you're doing well kind of thing. Like do not tell him everything you feel. Don't try to make him jealous. Don't try to play games right now. Do not do any of that. Just keep it incredibly light. Like, hey, how's your day? Hope you're doing well. Um, you know, kind of just be a, an ear to listen. But but don't don't let him come over and just have sex and leave. I feel I feel one or two of your masculines or might try to do that shit. They might just be like, oh, well, like it's all over with her now, and then they're gonna go crawling back to her. So so. Stay in your power, stand your ground, um, really be careful with that. Um, and yeah, just, just keep things very light. And then I think after he gets out of this kind of just, just a slow transition with you two is what you guys need right now is, is for, for this group that I'm channeling is, is yeah, slow transition. So after he gets out of all of that energy, that whole dark night of the soul, I do feel like he's going to be taking a risk and he's going to be sending you a message. He's going to be reaching out to you guys. He's going to be saying, it might start small. Like he might just say, Hey, how, how's, how's your day? And I think he gets that this is like a risk. Like he, th he knows that he's going to be vulnerable with you in ways he's not vulnerable with most people. He knows that you can completely break his heart. He knows that this relationship is unique and different and creative and that there's no one else like you out there. Like he gets that. He understands that it's a risk, but he's like, you know what? Like I thought I had it with the karmic and it's not it. So I'm, I'm just going to take the first little baby step and I'm going to reach out. I'm going to do something. I'm going to make some attempt to communicate. So, so it's good energy and we'll, we'll keep checking, um, back in weekly as, as the story progresses, you know? So thank you guys. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good day.